Hey guys, what is going on? Uh, it's Kevin here. I'm here. I did post a photo on my Instagram. I'm here to uh, minimize my footwear collection, I guess. It's not necessarily even like a collection, I should say. Um, I definitely don't have like a crazy amount of shoes, but in my opinion, I feel like I have too many shoes um, to, or I guess I have too many shoes to warrant to even have th that many, or I don't need these many shoes. So I'm gonna be sort of going through um, my, my collection of, I think I have like 15 shoes and I'm gonna be narrowing them down one by one uh, kind of giving the reason behind whether I'm keeping them or letting them go, etc. So I guess the first one we'll start off with is Okay, these are dirty, but uh, Nike Zoom Fly 3. These are my workout shoes These are my running shoes pretty decent running shoes. I would just say um, They are great for Pretty much just training for marathons, etc. But they're also good for like light competitive running as well i would say um if you're running like a 5k a 10k i feel like these shoes are good enough you don't necessarily need like the zoom x stuff um fits perfectly fine i like it i go true to size um, my only little complaint about the zoom flight 3 in specific because i had the two is that they changed it into this kind of booty like fit so you have to tighten the laces up top a bit more just so that you don't slip out because it has this weird like curvature to the end of it. Uh, the design wise, looks good. Something I just recently reviewed would be the Amelion Dior 990 B2s. Um, I, I've worn these already a handful of times, really like them. Um, probably going to be my, uh, my shoe of the year, I don't know. Um, depending on if anything else crazy happens out of nowhere. Um, but 990 V2s, really like them. Um, they're moderately comfortable, really wearable in my opinion, because you can wear this either with light wash blue jeans like I did in the review, black pants, sweats. Um, I believe in the product video, they even showed it with like blue sweatpants, green sweatpants. Etc. So these, and then I put the orange or the golden laces back on because I thought they looked nice again. I think it's always cool to see how um, a certain look sort of changes or a certain shoe sort of changes with the type of laces that you put on. Right now I have the yellow laces on or the golden laces on, but I'll see how long that lasts because I like to switch it up. Speaking of switching up laces, you know how to talk about these. Um, I was really on the fence on whether or not I want to sell these or not, because they are going for a pretty penny. Um, and I did sell my Storm Blues, but ever since I sold my Storm Blues, I've been regretting it, I've been wanting to buy it back. Um, so that sort of kind of hints that I would really, really appreciate this shoe in the future. Um, so I think I'm gonna hold on to it for a bit longer, as well as I switched out the laces to the golden laces and I think they look sick. I had the traditional um, black on cream laces for a while, um, but I do want to see how the orange laces work or fit in my wardrobe. I, as I wear this more and more, I'm appreciating the nice leather. I'm appreciating the cut of the shoe as well. I just, um, it's a good shoe. It's a good shoe in my opinion. Um, definitely one of the Jordans. That I really, really like, love the colorway, love everything about it. Um, material wise, I definitely want to buy back the Storm Blues, maybe eventually when I'm like fucking rich, um, I'll buy them back. But so far, this is what I will be keeping, I guess. Just recently did a review on the Aliens, and I really like the silhouette, I really like the look of it, the feel of it's great. Um, but unfortunately, I think this is one of the ones that I'm going to be letting go. Um, I, I personally think that, well, although this colorway is great, I think the mist colorway might be a little bit more of a seamless fit into my wardrobe. Uh, although I really like the green bottom and then the gray upper, I'm not 100% um, 
this was actually one of the ones I was like really like I was like flipping back and forth and that's why I've been delaying the review because I've literally just had a bunch of shoes on the floor of my room for the past like few days just debating on this one shoe all the other ones were pretty like safe that I kind of knew that I wanted to sell but these ones I was like always 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 back and forth back and forth back and forth and I think I'm finally going to be selling these um, fortunately uh, I hope they do restock so that I can grab another pair. I loved the comfort of these. I like the look, but I just feel like out of what I have, because my thing is that like I wanted to decrease it to seven, um, and then with a bunch of shoes moving back and forth, uh, I ended up at one point having 10 and only letting go of five, um, but this is one of the ones that I'm gonna be letting go. So sadly, the aliens, they will be sold. I'll just include two shoes, so, nice. So this is the Nike React um, Flyknit 3, no, Flyknit 1. Uh, I took off the laces, this isn't any special model. This was like their first colorway to ever release with Nike Plus members. I think this released a while ago. The bottoms are just absolutely cooked. I think I might just recycle these. I might send these back to Nike for their recycling program. Um, these have been good all around day shoes, um, running shoes, workout shoes, but uh, I, think, I think these are ready to be let go, I should say. Um, yeah, I think these are ready to be let go. They've just, the the bottoms are just cooked. Like, I think I was like walking or running with these and like the traction on the sides were like kind of slipping. So I think I'm gonna be donating these back to Nike, but these did last about a year and a half, maybe two years, about two years. And they still look okay. Sure, the back tab is like ripping a little bit, but still look okay, but I have worn these a lot as well as the Vans Vault Authentic LX OG, fucking long ass name, in the black or the gray asphalt colorway. Um, great shoes, um, great daily shoes. These, um, I think I will be giving to my little brother. Uh, I think he'll appreciate them. There's a lot of life still left in them. Where Vans, they really do last a while, especially the Vault ones. Um, they last forever, so I think I'm gonna be handing these off to my little brother as just like beater shoes if he wants them If he doesn't want them, he can just probably just Sell them for whatever, but Vans Vault Authentic LX's. I was really into Vans Authentics for a while. I really liked the red pepper uh, ones, uh, but I've let those go a while ago as well as the dress blues. I've had those two for a while um, but a part of me just feels like my toe just gets kind of scratched up on top of the canvas, although the canvas is very nice. Um, yeah, that's just the small issue that I had with them, but I think they look great, so I'll also be letting these go. These are the Chicago Air Jordan 1.5s. Um, everybody thinks they're ones, um, they are ones. But they're a hybrid, they're one upper and a two bottom, which I think is sick. My friend Kevin actually um, gave me these graciously and I've been wearing them quite frequently ever since. I really like these because of the fact that it's more comfortable than a one because the two sole, extremely comfortable. Um, as well as I like the upper. I just kind of wish they were the OG height where if you remember Jordan's in the in the early 2000s era, they were more of like a mid-cut, which is sort of what this is. Um, as well as, oddly enough, I think they retroed this as well as the Chicago's in the same year, just the, struck, bleh, the Chicago ones. Um, not 100% sure why, but these guys, awesome, awesome, awesome shoe. I really like these ones, comfy as hell. Uh, as well as Jordan actually wore these in between the transition to the Air Jordan 1 to the Air Jordan 2. Um, I think they were like going through the designs and I think he wore these for like one or two games. But yeah, like them so they will be staying in my rotation or my collection. So as you guys know, I am a big proponent for Jound. 
Um, and I would just like to say I'm gonna, I think I went a little bit overboard. I have three pairs of Club C's. So these are my two pairs that have been on ice. As well as here's the pair that I've pretty much been like beating, wearing every day mercilessly. So I will be letting go of my worn pair. Check on Grailed or DM me on Instagram if you guys are interested in picking this up for a fairly decent price. I think market price is anywhere between like 300 to like 400 something for a US 8. This can fit to an eight and a half because um, the leather's been worn in, stretched out, already pre-worn. Um, I'm gonna be doing some cleaning up on this, but I will be letting go of my beat pair. The silhouette I think looks super nice because it's, with wear, I think it became a little bit more of a wider, more comfortable shoe. Because if I remember when I originally wore the Club C's, they were a little bit narrow until they stretched out a bit. So the leather, still A1, still buttery as hell. Um, I will just be cleaning these up and they come with an OG box, but only the cream laces. So let me know if that's something that interests you. Hit me up on the DM. Uh, yeah. So I'll be selling my used ones and then keeping the two that I had on ice. Maybe I'll break them out again during like summer, spring time. It's just that I have like so many other shoes that are like beater shoes. Um, I will probably hold on to both of my ice pairs, maybe on DS one of them for either a special occasion or just when I feel like it. And then I'll start through this whole process again. But the ones, these guys, beautiful, beautiful, beautifully worn. Let me know. Um, if nobody ends up buying them, maybe I'll just hold on to them. But so far, I'm going to be letting go of the worn pair and keeping my two pairs that have been on ice. I have two pairs of shoes that I want to talk about real quick. So, Nike Dunk High APCs. Great shoes, great collab. I don't know why they haven't continued it, at least so far. Um, this reminds me definitely of like a Tim, um, but just very classy shoe. I think it's, I think I've only worn this maybe a handful of times. So very, very close to brand new. Most of the stars are still there, etc. I just haven't really found um, the right way to wear these because I just pulled these out of the vault maybe to do a video on them but as I was trying to do a video on them I just found that like a lot of my wardrobe compared to when I purchased these way back uh, has changed a lot and although this is a timeless silhouette I don't feel like this really necessarily matches too much of what I wear right now um, which is kind of weird that like I feel like this would work but I'm actually going to be letting these go. Um, check my Instagram store if you guys are around as well as my Grailed, which is in the description below to see how much these are going to be selling for. I have no idea what market price is going to be since I don't think anybody has these on sale. So, As well as I'm going to be letting go of these Pharrell NMD human races. Uh, I did post a little bit ago that a lot of people are sleeping on these, which they are. Um, I think these are fantastic shoes. Uh, it's just that I feel like out of all that I have, if I were to get rid of like half of my collection, this would unfortunately be a part of the half. This one, as well as the aliens, were the ones that had the hardest time deciding whether or not to keep or to let go. Um, yeah, pretty hard, pretty hard, but... Uh, I'll be putting these up on my Grailed, uh, as well as like my Instagram if there's anything that you guys are interested in. But they're a great shoe. I mean, the blank canvas, like this collection in general, was super awesome. I think Pharrell will forever be like, like an aesthetic motherfucking god. He never ages, but I think this shoe will definitely come back with time. Uh, I put on the cream laces. I also have the OG white laces, so. So oh, the final three shoes. First off, Nike the Takashi 2 um, Dunk Lows, Nike SB Dunk Lows. I believe this is from the Golden 
uh, gold box era. Uh, one of my favorite SPs, one of the only ones that he decided to keep around. Favorite, favorite, just a simple, clean, 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 clean shoe. Um, suede's great, leather's great. My only thing is, is that like I bought this in a size too big. So I've been wearing these every now and then, ever since I got them way back when I was in like junior high or something like that. Uh, great, great shoes. A part of me is thinking that I should maybe retire these um, and maybe just put them back into like, into their box and just like put them away for a while. Um, I know that SBs right now are currently having like a moment or Dunks in general are having like a moment, uh, but I feel like I just have a very different taste from what I used to have when I owned Dunks. Uh, but the oxidation, I think, looks super sick. So maybe I'll... You know what? I think I'll hold on to these for a little bit. They do have a bit more of like a sentimental meaning to me because of the fact that like this just reminds me of like when I first figured out about sneakers, when I first found out about them, uh, and then slowly going through the process of like collecting, learning more, going on Nike Talk, Hype Beast forums, etc. So, holding on to these two other shoes. You know how it is. You know how it be. John Elliott, Air Force Ones, the best, one of the best Air Force Ones to come out ever. Um, just an elevated take on Air Force Ones with either the debossed or the embossed, I mean, swoosh cut out with premium leather on the inside, double tongue, double uh, kind of details with like double layers of leather, as well as the insole, extremely comfortable. These are pretty much what I wear in tandem or what I wear when I don't wear either my Jones or my Air Jordan 1 beaters that I'll be talking about. Um, yeah, fantastic, fantastic modern take on a classic silhouette. I'm gonna be keeping these regardless. And there we go. Air Jordan 1 customs that I did, just very, very beat shoes. I don't think I will let these go. These are super, super nice in the way that I just essentially created like a blank canvas one where I cut out the tongue, I cut out the swoosh, I erased most of the jump man, but you can still kind of tell it was embossed there. Uh, I just think this is such a, it's just simple shoe and I just really like it. I like to wear these guys. These are perfectly beat in my opinion. And I, it took a while for them to get like that. I still do want the soles to oxidize a little bit, but that'll just come with time. Bottoms are still fine. These, yeah, good shoes. I'll be keeping these as like beater shoes. So I narrowed my 15 shoe collection down to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine shoes, which isn't bad. I did want to get to like seven or eight, but like I feel like I've already let go of a decent chunk of mine. And this rotation is quite tight, although I'm not going to be wearing every single shoe of these. Um, or every single shoe, every single day. I feel like this is a very um, doable, doable, as I say with like a lot of like amazing shoes behind me, a very doable uh, collection and what I can wear. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and I will see you guys next week with a two-parter video. See you.